week on 3D Printed Soup, Kenner style 3D printed action figures. But what do I prefer? PLA or resin? Let's find out. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. I love printing action figures. I like the fully articulated ones, I like the semi-articulated ones, but I think my favourite action figures of all time has got to be the five points of articulation Kenner classic Star Wars figures. And I found some great patterns online of people who made modern Star Wars characters from The Mandalorian and from Rebels and from all the other sort of spin-offs into classic five points of articulation action figures. So I'm going to print a few off. Thing is, I've got a resin printer and I've also got a regular filament printer. Now they both do fantastic jobs, but they both do very different jobs. Resin is brittle but beautiful. PLA, not quite as detailed, but really flexible and is a lot tougher. So let's see which I like better, filament or resin. Let's find out which one prints best and which one gives us the best results for some Kenner style 3D printed homages. Before we do that however, thanks very much to everyone who has liked and subscribed this month. Loads of you are starting to subscribe. Hugely appreciated. Welcome to the club. If you haven't, don't worry about it. You can join in. Drag your cursor down over to the subscribe button. Give it a click. Minimal effort for you. Maximum happiness for me. Let's give us a try and print ourselves some five points of articulation classic Kenner Star Wars style prints. Let's get printing.
Okay, so let's give these a look. First of all, I've got the resin. Now the level of detail on this is absolutely lovely. I mean, the head looks perfect, uh, the armor's great. The only problem is they are very, very brittle. This particular design, I've had to put pegs to hold all the arms and legs on because the pegs, which I 3D printed, were very, very snappy. I pop on the arms and legs and they just shear off and turn into little sharp bits of broken resin, which, although they look great, not particularly functional. So yeah, if you want a really good looking statuette, then definitely use resin. If you want a fully articulated figure, however, PLA works very, very nicely. It's light, it's strong, and it's flexible. You can heat up the little pins inside so they pop in, and these joints ain't ever coming apart, but they're fully articulated. They're not particularly brittle like you get with the resin, and yeah, perfect. Only issue I had was this particular figure, I printed it quite large, but uh, as you can see on the back there, the uh, supports attached to it and cause quite a bit of damage to the back. So I gave it a flip round and I came up with this. A really, really nice, well detailed, no damage whatsoever from the supports. Arm stay in place, full articulation. And yeah, this is a beautiful, uh, in this case, I think Sabine Wren from, Re from Rebels. Um, a homage that the original of our Star Wars will come and find me. But yes, very, very happy with this. So in my opinion, I like the look of the resin figure, but I think if I'm gonna print more of these out, I'm definitely gonna be using PLA, but it lacks in the sharpness to get in the detail. It more than makes up for with functionality. And yeah, these arms and leg movements, the way that it stays in place, no matter where you put the arms and legs, it's a fantastic medium for printing action figures. So yeah, definitely the future. PLA is the way to go. However, if I'm printing D&D &D figures, Pathfinder figures, Shadowrun figures, things like that, I'm always gonna be using resin because resin is just hands down the most beautiful detail. However, if you want functionality, go the PLA. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay happy, stay safe, keep printing.